you guys want to learn how to win a John Deere Starfire ITC Globe and Receiver, along with a Starfire ITC Extend Module, so that way you can still use your Starfire ITC Globe, stick to the end of the video. So let's take a moment here and let's talk about the, pa <coughs> the, <coughs> the pandemic. So as you guys all probably know by now, we're in a world pandemic, or at least we're, we were. I don't know if we still are. Are we still in a world pandemic? I don't know. Either way, it caused a chip shortage, which is causing things from cell phones and laptops to cars not being produced or delivered and affected in that shortage is agricultural GPS equipment. Now I'm not picking on any brands here. I'm not picking on John Deere at all. It's hit everyone. It just so happens that I drive John Deere tractors. So that's what I have to show you guys. Now in the midst of this chip shortage, the top two globes here are probably worth more than lumber is, if that means anything to you non-farmers out there. If you can find them, it's amazing. But when you do find them, they're probably at double their MSRP just because you, you can't find them. They're impossible to find. Now these, the Starfire ITC and the Starfire High Dome, um, by themselves are basically worth nothing. They're paperweights. Cause I mean, you can still use them for coverage maps, but you can't actually steer a tractor with them. So not many people really use these anymore. And being the tinker that I am, I, uh, I started doing some research to figure out if I could still use these globes to actually steer my tractor, if there's a way to trick the system somehow. And it turns out there is. And the way to do it is with this, the AgriGPS ITC Extend. So I'd like to stop and thank AgriGPS quickly as they're the ones that provided the ITC Extend module that I'll be giving away with the Starfire ITC globe at the end of this video. Now AgriGPS does not only make the ITC Extend module, but they also make what they call bridges, which basically allow you to use your John Deere precision and a GPS devices on other brands of equipment. For example, we actually have one of these bridges in our CAT Challenger 865B that allows us to use our John Deere globe and monitor in our CAT tractor. So pretty cool guys, check them out. Uh, they're super cool guys. They're very easy to work with, respond very fast. So check them out, I'll leave a link in the description below. Now in order to use John Deere Auto Steer, you need to have an SF1 signal. That was what was discontinued from this globe. However, this globe or receiver, whatever you want to call it, can still receive a WAS signal, which John Deere allows you to use for coverage maps. What this box does is it plugs between the globe and the monitor, and it basically tricks the monitor into thinking that the, that the signal is receiving from this globe is an SF1 signal. Now hearing upon how this little box works, my brain got to thinking, and I was like, if all it does is tricks the monitor into believing it has a different signal, could I still use it on a high dome globe? And uh, I was gonna test it out, but I can't because we don't have any tractors that have that bracket style anymore. So I contacted AgriGPS and they said, yeah, we actually have customers that use high dome globes with this to use auto steer. So I'm not gonna test it out today, um, but according to them, you can. So is it as accurate as SF1? Probably not. However, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of other companies that base their auto steer system on WAS, and from the little bit of testing I've done so far, for the price, I'm pretty impressed. What's even cooler than everything I just told you guys is I bought a second Starfire ITC globe. I reached out to AgriGPS, I asked them, hey, would you be willing to send me one? Uh, I'll make a video on it and then I'll give it away. And they said, absolutely. So if you look up on the cab of the tractor right now, there is a Starfire ITC globe with an ITC extend hanging, just dangling in front of the windshield. Well, I'm just gonna give it to you guys like that. I mean, you're supposed to mount them on the side of the globe, but I'll let you guys do that. So I will give the giveaway details at the end of the video, but let's go drive this thing a little bit, see how it works. So it's actually the next day I ran out of sunlight last night to get some decent footage of me testing out the ITC extend module. But as you can see, we have it up there with the ITC globe and I have not started the tractor since I attached the globe 
and the monitor. So it's fresh, so I'll be able to start it up and show you guys what pops up on the monitor. And also, when I contacted AgriGPS about this, uh, they said it takes about a half hour or maybe a little bit longer to actually get full reception. So I have about a half hour to 45 minute drive anyways over to a rye field where I'm gonna test this thing out. So that'll be perfect. So I've got the ITC, got a 2630 monitor. I'm gonna start the tractor up here. GPS problem, no GPS position available. Yep, whatever. Okay, so as you can see, no reception at the moment, but it does say SF1. If I go here, it shows up good. And as I drive, I'll get more and more GPS signal and accuracy, and uh, that's literally all it takes for this to work on this globe. Now, if you have a different monitor or a different tractor, it's gonna change a little bit. I know I was testing it out in our 9570 RT, which is a 2018, and it has a 4000 um, command center monitor. That one had a lot more air messages that I had to click through, but once I clicked through them all, it just started working. Oh, and as I talked, just gained a bunch of GPS signal there. Oh, and I'm losing it. In all fairness, I am in a terrible spot for GPS right now. I got two grain steps by me and a shot. So once I get up on the road, it'll get a lot better. All right, so it has been 50 minutes and I've hit 80% accuracy. Now, I I can hit 80% accuracy pretty fast. I can't really seem to get above it that much. Uh, so, but it does still work 80% accuracy, so I'm gonna do a quick T, there's a TCM, what, what's it called? TCM calibration here on the road and then I'll get the field and I'll do a test. All right, so here we are, got everything set up. Let's just uh, center that real quick. Hit the auto steer button. Do -do -do. Now I have it set to 180 degrees, so I don't actually know how straight it'll be compared to the road or our planter marks over here. But I got her going about five miles per hour. I don't know, I think that'd be a typical field speed, I guess. And uh, I have the drone following us so we can see how straight it looks. And just the feeling from the cab, I mean, it feels pretty darn straight. It is swaying a little bit, not bad. I would not put this in a planter. Uh, I have read that some people have before and uh, they say it's fine. You know, it's, it's not perfect, but it's okay. Personally, I don't think it's quite accurate to put in a planter, but I would not be afraid based on my little bit of testing that I've done here and what I'm doing exactly right now with 80% accuracy to put it in a field cultivator, a beer ripper, chisel plow, disc, uh, fertilizer spreader basically anything that doesn't need fantastic you know sub inch accuracy well there we have it guys i hope you guys enjoyed that as much as i did now if you want to win this starfire itc extend and this john deere starfire globe uh hit the link down in the description you can enter to win uh before you do though a couple restrictions i can only ship in the united states it just it cost me too much to ship it out and there's a bunch of laws and it's just it's so much easier being a small YouTuber to keep it in the United States. Sorry guys, I have to do it. Also, some other laws, I have to keep it 18 years or older. So in the United States, 18 years or older. And one last thing to disclaim, this globe is not a new globe, it's a used globe. It's uh, it's the deluxe shroud, but it's not the best shape guys, okay? It's scratched up, it's dinged, it may have a little crack here and there. It is what it is, okay, it's a used electronic. If you use it for a little bit and it stops working, I'm not responsible for it. It's a giveaway, you're giving you a free globe. Take it for what it is. Uh, same with this. This is, even though this is brand new, I've only used it a couple times here. Uh, it's still an electronic piece. If something happens to it, stops working, I'm not responsible for it. So, hit the link down in the description. Good luck guys, and I will see you in the next one.